The fire season is keeping local fire districts very busy. The fire danger level went up yesterday. That means grass fires are especially likely now. That was the case in White City where crews put out two small fires within an hour yesterday afternoon. Small town fire stations are in need of volunteer firefighters. The Applegate Fire District, the Applegate Valley Fire District rather in Roosh says it's about 10 people down during the busiest time of fire season. News 10's Crystal Henderson has the story. Those who come to your rescue now need your help. It's your neighbor. It's your neighbor that is frightened enough to call 911 and we're skilled enough to help. Carrie Chaput mm -hmm. never thought she'd be climbing into a fire truck and helping the crew fight fires. I would have never thought of myself as a volunteer firefighter, but you move to a rural area and there's a need. There weren't any fire hydrants. I said, how does this work? I was just gonna bring cookies. <laughs> but when I found out there was a real need, there was a real need for volunteers and uh, I saw I could be a part of the team. For more than 13 years now, she's been serving her community in the Applegate Valley. Operations Chief Chris Wolfard, looking through his lesson plan and who's attending his training, constantly searching for new volunteers. This large of a district, uh, this spread out and uh, a lower population density, uh, we don't have the tax base in order to staff uh, fire stations 24 hours a day with uh, a full staff of, of paid firefighters, so we rely on volunteers. Volunteer firefighters have to wear several hats, not just giving their time to help fight fires, but also juggling their own career, family and personal life. So it takes dedication. It takes a tremendous amount of dedication, but you get hooked because the more you learn and the more you get to use those tools. I have held the extrication tool and that's a heavy tool. It weighs more than I do, but I know how to use it. Lifelong lessons learned in return for your time and love for the community. Because when it's time to go, 8533 responding, you're not punched in. When you get to do that or you get to crawl up into the attic and get to the seat of the fire and you know how to do it, it's thrilling because it's it's not just anybody can do it. Covering your news in Rouge, Crystal Henderson, News 10. Volunteer firefighting training is every Monday at the station. They go over fire and medical skills. And not just anyone can become a volunteer firefighter. It is a long-term commitment. Here's what it takes. If you'd like to be one, you have to go through a year of training and testing. After that, a series of drills and physical ability testing.